Hey everyone, Lucas here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys the method that I use to clean Lego parts fast and efficiently. Now, before we begin the cleaning process, I'd recommend sifting through your parts real quick. We will be soaking these in water, so pull out any pieces with stickers on them. I'd also recommend pulling things out like minifigures, light bricks, pieces with springs in them, pretty much any part that could potentially be damaged by water. So with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, guys, so here's everything you're going to need for the cleaning process. You're going to need a sink. You're going to need a strainer. Most strainers will work fine as long as the holes are small enough so that Legos do not fall through. You're also going to need a salad spinner. Again, make sure that no Lego pieces are going to be able to fall through. And if your salad spinner has holes at the bottom like this one, you need a bowl to put the salad spinner in. And you're going to need some kind of soap or detergent. I've been using this Dawn Ultra stuff and it works pretty well. Just make sure you do not use bleach. All right, so we're going to start off by putting the strainer in the sink and the salad spinner in the bowl and we're ready to put in our Lego pieces. I don't usually fill a salad spinner at more than halfway full. So now we're ready to add the soap and you really only need a little bit. So now we're going to bring this over to the sink and fill it up until the parts are completely submerged. Warm water seems to do a better job at removing residue of grease and oil, maybe from your hands. It hasn't ever damaged my parts, but just make sure you don't use anything too hot just to be safe. So just run it over, maybe move your parts around and you should start seeing some bubbles form. And then just kind of toss around the parts in the water. Make sure the water gets in all the crevices and whatnot. And if you wanted to, you could even throw this on top and start spinning the parts up in there. I like to spin it a few times and then stop and go back the other way. And you can hear everything getting mixed up in there. And after that, I'm just going to take all this out of here and put it into the strainer. So this water is pretty filthy after cleaning all of the dust and grime off the parts. So now I'm just going to use some cold water to rinse off the soap. If your salad spinner has a hole in it like this, you can put it over top. Let the water go in there and then just spin them around while they're in there. Just get all the soapy water off the parts. Alright guys, so now we have all our parts rinsed and cleaned. Now to speed up the drying process, I'm going to take all these parts and put them back in the bowl. Put this back on top. Check this out guys, this one step is going to make your parts dry so much faster. With the parts in here, I'm just going to spin this thing up. Get that spinning nice and fast. And maybe take this off and sift everything around again. Spin it again. And now at that time, we can take the parts, put them over here, and check this out, guys. That is all water that we literally just spun off the pieces. Think about how long that would take to evaporate off the parts. And then we're going to take all the parts out. And now I'm just going to take a towel, lay it on here, fold it in half. There we go. And then I'm just going to dump the pieces right onto it. Now, as you can see, there is still some water left on the parts. So I'm just going to spread all these parts around. Just make sure they're all separated enough so the water can evaporate off of them. If you have any plates like these, I recommend flipping them over with the anti-studs facing up. That's going to help it dry because a lot of times the water gets stuck in there. And if you want to speed up the drying process even more, you can grab a fan. I like to put the fan right in front of the parts. And if you want to take it a step further, you can take like a rag or something and fold it up and wedge it underneath there. That way the fan is going to be at an angle blowing right on the parts. Then just turn it on and it is going to dry your parts so much faster. I'd say give them around three to four hours to dry. And maybe every hour or so, just kind of move the parts around again. All right, guys. So it's been a little bit under four hours. And check this out, guys. These pieces are totally dry and good to go. Now, if you guys try this and are not satisfied with how clean the parts are, you can always run through the process again. Now, if your parts are really dirty and they have dust built up over there for several years, then you may have to do a little bit of scrubbing. But now the parts are clean and dry. They're ready to be played with again, stored, whatever you plan for them. They're good to go. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because I've got lots of great content coming to the channel. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon.